Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Asma binti Saidin uh, and my metric number is S548869. I am representative from a group which is uh, 7 under the subject line management MMMG202. The purpose of this post is to share with everyone regarding the title we have chosen which is Impact Pollution from Liner Shipping Ships to Environment. Nowadays, marine transportation still generates negative impacts on the maritime environment, including air pollution, greenhouse gas emission, release of ballast water, and others. To summarize the environmental effect of marine transportation and describe the mitigative, legislative, and others uh, performance measures currently available to improve management of these global issues. Okay. There are three impacts that occur to the environment that stem from liner shipping. The first one is carbon emission and greenhouse gas emission. This is a significant hurdle to the move to less pollution, pollution tools which are often more expensive. The industry current overcapacity and poor economic circumstances make such a transition much more challenging. Yeah. The second one is ballast water pollution. Uh, for example, an oil tanker will fill its tank with ballast water after unloading its cargo to ensure the stability on the return trip. And the third one is oil full oil and full spills can happen by accident or on purpose. Vodka. Contrary to popular assumption, almost two or thirds of all oil and gasoline disaster in maritime transport are produced by operational dumping, primarily through the discharge of the water. There are three steps to reduce the problem faced by shipping liners to the environment. The first one is putting in electrical and propulsion system. The generation and propulsion of electrical energy is an essential aspect in lowering emission of carbon, particularly on ships with various operating profiles. Because of the higher energy efficiency and variable speed, of the propulsion and can lower fuel consumption considerably. The second one is improvement of existing ship core system. Dynamic positioning, which is we call it as DP, is being utilized, utilized for various purposes. DP can be can also be used to ensure an accurate navigation on the track, which is useful for underwater building or pipe installation. <clears throat> DP system have traditional been full cost because a large vessel, vessel, especially for turbulent condition, require lots of electricity. The third one is streamlining hull and propeller design. A further step that can be taken by shipbuilders in reducing emission of carbon is to simplify ship design so that they can move more quickly into the water without consuming as much the food. So we hope that the information we share is able to enable, enable the dots that, that play in the mind of all until there is no end. Thank you for sharing your time to hear what I'm going to talk and your time is very much appreciated. Thank you very much.